Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today, we'll be using Weathermel as our source uh, with the SRR. And what we'll be doing is we're going to be going to the city, I mean, the state of Kansas. And then we'll make our way to Missouri. So let's first start off with our breaking news and our um, topic of the day is uh, the severe weather that will be starting today uh, in the uh, Midwest. And this includes much of Kansas, southern Nebraska, and all of it, uh, most of uh, Missouri, north Missouri. And I'm just going to do three frames here. You can see how storms continue to, or storms pop up here uh, across parts of uh, Iowa, south, southwestern Iowa, uh, south Nebraska, and north um, Kansas. I'm going to go a few more frames here. I'm going to go one, two, three. Or let's go back one more. You can see that we're starting to see some hail starting to pick up with this Shibular. And it's going to continue to possibly strengthen um, and then possibly be even becoming a bow segment um, from the moisture coming from here. And that will be pushing south or uh, southeast, making this start to go something like that. And now we'll start to bow it out with our rear um, uh, jet. And you can see how it's blowing, uh, basically uh, bowing it out here, even becoming like more of a more of a line right in there. That's more of like a line, maybe even like a, a nice bow segment right in there. But uh, you can also see the hail, the strong winds that will be coming through, uh, even some pockets of tornadoes possibly, some tornadic cells. Uh, some tornadic cells. Uh, we could be talking about um, these little tiny cells here off to the east. Those could be tornadic. Um, really starting to see a hook there, but not really much on that. And as I just continue here, you can see how storms really start to pick up and even becoming more of a line uh, connecting together in uh, central Kansas. But then this pocket of moisture will continue to move in the northeast direction. That will bring some heavy rain, localized downpours, even some um, flooding um, and a possible um, severe weather with that. Looks like it's going to be a line like right in here. Um, but it's very not to find. Um, but you know what? If we saw gusty winds out of this, would not be surprised. Then we have day three of it where we're also under a slight risk where storms actually look like they're going to really pick up on that day as well. Uh, that one looks uh, very active too, possibly an enhanced risk, but the worst looks like it could be in uh, Oklahoma. And I'll actually show that right now. You can see how we get like this bulk, bow segment moving through um, Texas and Oklahoma. Uh, the worst of it could be in Oklahoma where we have a line coming through. Uh, and then also, let's go to Missouri where we're going to see basically the bulk of the moisture today. Uh, you can see that bow segment <laughs> uh, first starting out. Look at this bow segment. You can actually see it gets a little bit stronger all the way through um Missouri, even into St. Louis, it still has gusty winds. Kind of lost everything in here, like isolated cell, multi cellular storms. Then it becomes a line again. And then we get that bulk moisture that I was talking about in Kansas. That comes back in. So we can talk about that. The, another threat of severe weather. And then this is day three of a slight. I think the slight is something like this. Um, or something like that. Uh, I think it actually goes cut right in here. And you can see we're talking about firing up storms. Some like this storm right here could turn tornadic. Look at that hook um, on this. Uh, we're even talking about a hook on this. And this, um, there could be some tornadic cells 
and then it comes online once again. Then we get another bulk of energy right here. Uh, let's see what the NAM 3KM model has to say about these uh, storms. So we're gonna start off. You can see, okay, we get another. We get that bow segment like they're showing with Asia Bilar. Uh We get the pocket of more. Oh, you know what? That was this morning, so I believe. Yeah, it might have been this morning. Uh, that might. This is our moisture bow segment. Uh, a little bit of moisture coming out of Kansas after that. Then this is day th day two. Really talking about a strong bow segment. Uh, very classic storms. Um, that could be another enhanced day. And then day three, not looking so impressive uh, or oppressive as every other day. Let's take a look with the Nan3KM surface base cape. Now, our cape is extreme in these areas, actually. It is... Um, double the extreme um, in some of these areas you can see. It's really going to pick up even on to day two and day three. You know, day three is somewhere in and around there. Uh, the HRR showing the same thing, high to extreme K values moving through. The, the, the storms no, uh, can work off of that. Um, and then day three showing the same i mean date not day three day two showing the same exact thing so you know what i'd say that this could be potential uh strong storms uh even the tornadic storms right in here that's where we have the enhanced um right now the enhanced uh oops why did i do that the enhanced risk um the enhanced risk is uh right here so I'm going to go ahead and put in H. And that's where we have the best threat. We have actually a 5% uh, of some of uh, tornadoes. Let's actually um, take a look at temperatures on that day as well. Temperatures today, why did I say that day? Today are going to be steamy, especially in Kansas, almost 100 degrees. Storms have something to feed off of tomorrow. Again, 100 degrees possibly. Take a look at our uh, dew points. They're going to be pretty steamy, especially before the storms come in. Uh, also, our, uh, our relative humidity is going to be on the increase uh especially when these storms come through we're talking about 90 96 97 but out ahead of it we're talking about generally 50 55 56 uh so pretty low but also it's going to work off of something uh day two is showing the same exact thing uh probably a little bit more humidity on that day and then our visibility it's showing that it's going to be torrential downpours. Even possible tornado. <laughs> I just saw that, but it's not showing it on radar. Oh, never mind. Uh, we could have a possible tornado. You know how it has uh, this hook. You see it's coming out like that and going in like that. So we could talk about definitely something strong. Um, and, yeah, let's talk about we have activity on cloud cover. Cloud cover is going to really be everywhere uh, with this. Uh, I could be talk. We could probably be talking about a potential. This is possibly where the shelf cloud could be. And then look at all of this cloud cover. Just crazy cloud cover moving through those areas. And last but not least, let's take a look at our shear. Well, let's go ahead and outline some areas. So that's when that tornado sparks. So it's showing this. So let's go a possible tornado, not actual tornado. So we have that, something like that, you know. So let's go ahead and go to upper air. Okay, so they changed dramatically right in here. So is that where that hook is? Let's see. It's close. You know, sometimes it could be tornadic. Not saying it's going to happen, but it, it, the model is showing a hook on the storm. So it could be a possible hook. Um, Not just on this hook, but anywhere. Okay, anywhere. And, um, yeah, that's really it. Um, Why did I show wildfire smoke? Um, that's really it. Um, 
uh, actually, now you can see the shelf a little bit better, possibly right there. And those little tiny grays could be that tornado, uh, not tornado, shelf cloud. Uh, so, yeah, St. Louis, Kansas City, um, Topeka, Sam, Springfield. Watch out for this because this is going to be a continuous days of severe weather outbreak. As we go to the SPC, we're going to have continuous, and when I say continuous, I mean continuous um, rounds of thunderstorms. You can see we have that enhanced risk, and tomorrow, almost in the same exact areas with just a slight risk. So it's going to be three consecutive days of severe weather, because look, even day three, day three, it's showing a marginal risk, very low, then an enhanced, but it's still there with the risk of thunderstorms. So I'd say watch out, watch out for the tornadoes, and uh, let's take a look, I guess, at radar scope just to see what's going on right now. We just have really much special marines warnings, special marine warnings, uh, and nothing starting. We are starting to see this storm pop up. That's not going to be start. Actually, our bulk of the moisture is now starting to pick up in intensity. But right in, uh, let's, let's just let's just make this white. Right in here is where we're tracking. It, we're, we're even starting to see storms pop up. But right in this general area, we that's when when we see all these like little tiny cells form, that's when that line can start to get going and start to really push its way out and into the area. So I thank you all for watching. Once again, this is going to be an enhanced risk. Could we go moderate? Mm. Right now, what I think, not really. I think we're just going to stay at an enhanced risk. Um, so tomorrow, we will be doing a, another video. Uh, regular videos. This one was a little bit more short. Uh, this will be a, more of a regular video. Uh, I mean, tomorrow will be more of a regular video with our green screen. So stay tuned for that. And then for fun, we can just go to Tropical Tidbits and talk about the timing on things. Um, this is with the NAM. So um, oh, they're just updating. So let's go to Isha Bilar. Um, Isha Bilar is saying that line is really going to get going at around nine that bow possibly that bow segment i mean that tornado possible around two in the morning so it's going to be a nighttime event once again then we get that other bit of action uh tomorrow or not tomorrow um we get that other bit of action yeah tomorrow and then we get another bit of action on Monday, really looking a little less impressive on, um, not Monday, Saturday. So thank you all for watching. I hope everyone does have a good day and stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Goodbye.